Folks, we have just arrived to the uh, Eastman Bourgeois booth here at NAMM 2024. My good friend, Mr. Dana Bourgeois. How do you do, sir? I'm doing great, Matt. Great. Uh, good show for you so far? Good show, lots of uh, energy. Seems like NAMM is back to where NAMM should be. I, I was just, just talking to Hondro. This is the best NAMM I think I've been to, period. Oh, good. Since I've been good. coming. So. Good for that. I mean, you could be getting around and seeing more stuff than I've, sure, so that's sure. a good good to hear that. Do you mind uh, walking us through a few of the guitars that we're taking home with us? Oh, no, not at all. We're going to start with... Uh, I'll hand this to you. Yeah. We're going to start with a very custom coupe. This is our 12 fret uh, double on a double O body platform. And... You know, we just kind of asked James and Andrew, our, our, our two luthier, resident luthier guys, to come up with something different and exciting for the show. Let it all hang out. And Andrew came up with a brand new uh, inlay pattern. It's kind of like a, I don't know what I'd call it, but there's a little bit of a, a Southwest flavor yeah, to it. Sure. That little piece of turquoise in there is yeah. probably yeah. what, what what brings it home. But it's just a really interesting asymmetrical rosette inlay. Uh, the motif is carried into the headstock and uh, the, the binding is, uh, is coca bolo. It has a arm bevel. We've borrowed some features from the Odyssey model, sure. including the lattice brace back. Yeah which is, works really neat. It, it's a very neat uh, effect, especially on a small guitar. To me, it adds a little bit of presence, and uh, you know, a smaller guitar can use that. Uh, the back and side are Macassar ebony, and the top is a gorgeous set of Sinker Redwood. And they kind of go together nicely, the whole black and brown motif. It almost looks like the same wood. Yeah from the top and yeah the, the striping sides. definitely is a nice theme so i think the wood was one of those situations the wood comes in you pull it aside you think, Man, that would go great with that top yeah. what are we going to do with it so this is what this is how it turned out outstanding so we got a few custom fancy whatever's and you've got to bring some of the some meat and potatoes to a show like this. And the large sound hole is a really good example. It's not exactly a, a copy of anything. It's a copy of a, a hacked guitar. <laughs> but it's, well said. It's, it's, it's turned into a classic of its own. And it looks like it could have been made back in the day, just like this. Um, we've been building these guitars for almost 10 years now. And just a very successful part of the line. What I, what I like about the large sound hole, people always ask me, well, what does it do to the sound of the guitar? To my ear, the large sound hole adds firmness to the bottom string. Presence and firmness. Um, too often in a large guitar, the string can sound woofy. Uh, there's an imbalance, so it adds more balance to the, to the overall instrument in a bigger package than you typically find in an OM or whatever. So, and again, of course, it, it, it's an AMP show, and we always say, you're not gonna hear anything at an AMP show, so it better look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is another set of wood that we set aside for something special. It's beautiful Madagascar rosewood. It looks like it could have been a set of Brazilian rosewood and a, you know, a 39 D28 and a beautiful matching back and side, sort of a two-tone color scheme with a beautiful, you know, black black ribbon line separating. Just a, you know, I call them unicorns. It's a unicorn of a set of Madagascar. And, and for the top? Oh, and the top, of course, is, is Torrified Adirondack, AT Adirondack. Uh, and, you know, it's not super close grain. I probably, I'm, 
typically for these guitars, I'll select the wood for stiffness. Yeah, the, the headroom and horsepower that these can have is amazing, but just as impressively, you can whisper on them and they sure come alive yeah. without a lot of prompting. And a little bit of breaking in will uh, increase that tendency. Of course, with a Torfi top, the break in factor is uh, decreased. Exactly. exactly. Beautiful. So we're really pleased to show this. This guitar has gotten a lot of attention over the last couple of days. Maybe because everything else is so blingy and this has got like, you know, that we'll say meat and potatoes vibe. Awesome. Thank you very much.